In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add sounds to your game using RPG Builder, how we can save those as templates, as you can see here, to reuse them as many times as we want, and how easy it is to make them not sound repetitive. So here we have the preview button, which lets you preview your current sound templates without even having to go in game. So let me click it a bunch of time. As you can see here, it didn't sound the same every time I clicked and this is because sound templates in RPG Builder lets you um, tweak all the settings you want from an audio source. So if I look at an audio source um, component here, as you can see we have all the settings and they are all ported here in the RPG Builder um, editor. So you can tweak that and they will be applied to the audio source before this sound is played. and. Um, also, you have um, a list of audio clips here, which these sound templates can play. One will be picked randomly every time the template is played. In this case, we only have one clip, but you could have five, ten, whatever you want, and this will reduce repetition even more. But if I now go ahead and tweak the pitch and maybe even the volume and click play a bunch of time, As you can see now, I mean, I'm not saying this is ideal and you should use the settings in the game, but obviously you see that now uh, it has a big impact on how it sounds and how much we can hear it and so on. We also have full control over um, if this sound should be 2D or 3D. So you could, this is a proper 3D setup, but you could also have it as a 2D sound that will be heard no matter where your um, audio listener is for your character. So yeah, that's pretty much how you create a sound template. It's very easy, right? You click on new, you add as many uh, audio clips as you want, you add a valid name, and here you tweak the settings however you want them, and you save. I'm not going to explain every single one of the settings for two reasons. Number one, it, these are Unity settings, not RPG Builder, right? So you can Google them, you can watch, you can look at the um, Unity documentation or watch some video. And number two, I am no expert at all with those. I actually just know more or less what each does, but um, I'm not experienced enough with those to actually explain to you. So I don't want to say something wrong. Just look, um, uh, just look about them with people and resources which are better than me. Uh, but yeah, my job was just to let you modify them and uh, you can do that. So that's great. Now let's see how we can add those sound templates and actually use them in game, right? So here I have my character and if I go ahead and um, press my attack key, so for example here, uh, when I attack, there is no sound played, right? Uh, but it would be nice to have some kind of swing sound, but also when I hit something, it would be nice to have some sound feedback, right? To uh, On top of the damage text, on top of the particles playing here, it would be good to have some sound. So let's go in the, in the editor. And as you can see here, I was using the cleave ability. So if I go ahead here and go to combat abilities and cleave, at the bottom, I have a sound section and I can add as many sounds as I want. Those sounds can be played on start on completion, which means after the cast time, or when the ability was interrupted. So you could even be stunned and play a certain sound when this ability was uh, interrupted, or cancel. This is when you cancel it yourself. For example, by moving during the cast. If you can't move during a cast, it will cancel it. So, um, and here I can just add my template. So the one we were looking at was uh, Melee Swing. And in this case, you can also add a delay. So uh, this might not be needed for every ability, but in this case, I want to add some slight delay so that the sound only starts playing when my axes are actually swinging. I'm gonna go ahead and save, go in game. And as you can see here, as I'm using the ability now, we have this sound playing, right? So that's already better. Now, uh, what if we wanted the sound when we hit something? Because this is still not happening. So let's do that. Now, to do this, you have a few ways, but uh, my favorite way is if we look at Cleave here, what happens when we hit someone? Uh, so that's, I, I think, the most straightforward way to approach it. So what happens when we actually hit a unit? Well, what happens is that we apply the cleave damage effect, right? So you can simply go under combat effect, look at your damage effect or anything. It could be a stun, uh, a stat buff, etc. And here, just like abilities, they have a sound section and they can also have a delay, 
uh, but in this case I'm not going to use it and I'm going to assign the blood hit uh, sound template and hit save. And as you can see now, I can have sound when I swing and also sound when I hit. Great, and now I can say, oh, okay, this uh, hit um, sound template sounds good, but maybe it should sound, I don't know, maybe a bit louder or something like this. So we can go ahead and tweak the volume, maybe uh, more pitch, things like that. And we could save and go testing game, but just like I said, we can also preview here, of course. Now it might be a bit too dramatic, but I'm going to save just, uh, just for the sake of it. doesn't really match with uh, it's just a bit too powerful and dramatic for the uh, for like a basic attack like this but you get the idea um, we can now just go back to sound template and uh, blood hit and tweak it a bit more and be like okay this was too much pitch here maybe still a little bit too much I think this is pretty good I quite like this. Uh, it could be a bit less repetitive. I think the ideal way is to find a good balance between um, tweaking the settings and tweaking the clips here. So for example, we could have uh, different clips here. Let's say this one, let's see how it sounds. Okay, maybe this one we can try. So I'm going to drag and drop this here, save. It doesn't really sound like consistent because the two clips are quite different but at least it's going to be a good example for this video to see that you can easily add multiple clips yeah, so you get the idea so that's pretty much it for sound templates in rpg builder let me know if you have any suggestion in the comments if you have any questions come on discord and see you in the next video